Harassing more Jujutsu Kaisen characters. Starting out with Nanami. I am Nanami Kento, a Jujutsu sorcerer from Tokyo Jujutsu High. Hey, I made an appointment to get a haircut. Is this the, the right place? A haircut? Excuse me, but this is not a beauty salon. It isn't? No, it isn't. I mean, did you not see the signboard that says Tokyo Jujutsu High? That, that, that's a fair point. But, um, some girls said you're really good at handling hair. So I, I was interested. In, in a haircut. Girls. Anyway, no, you can't have a haircut here. But I could help you. Um, I, I'm not sure if I like how this is going. But how? You need a haircut, right? So I could use my ratio technique to cut your hair. You don't have to worry about the accuracy. Ratio? I don't want to get ratioed. There's no need to be afraid. My ratio technique only works on living things. Isn't that why I should be actually afraid? But the hair is dead. Alright. Well, just don't worry. The technique won't harm your body. I assure you. Let's, let's trust him. For now. Sure. He takes a deep breath. There. I think your hair looks neat now. Uh-uh. You definitely missed some spots there. Oh, really? Wait, let me cut some little more. Is this enough? Mmm. The front is a little bit too long. Okay, fine. Cuts more of his hair. Is this okay now? Yeah, now the back is weird, isn't it? Just stay still. I'll make a new cut. Is this enough now? <laughs> let's just keep let's just keep doing this. Um, the sides they they need more work. Is this good now? Uh, the the front bangs are weird too. Really, cut your front bangs. How about now? Now they are too short. Can you put them back? You keep saying it's too long or too short. Make up your mind, damn it. He make it long again. How did you grow my hair? Is this ratio technique? I divided the cut off into seven. It's too long. Cut it again. This is ridiculous. Do you mind telling me what you think is a suitable length of your hair? Just cut a tiny little bit more. Oh, come on already. Cut your hair a little bit more. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> actually, I want <laughs> I want to go bald. Are you serious? Mm, actually, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go crazy. Do you want bald or not? You keep changing your mind. Just cut a tiny bit shorter again. Fine. Cut your hair a bit shorter. Damn it, it's too short again. This is ridiculous. Well, just forget it. I don't have all day to waste with you. He opens the door and throws the scissors at you. Don't ever come back here again. All right, I think that he got pretty annoyed. Let's move on to something else. Let's talk with our protagonist. Hi, my name is Itadori Yuji. I'm a student from Tokyo Jujutsu High. What's your name? I start messing with him a little bit. Nothing too much. Hey, hi, Rizzler. And my favorite hobby is jumping on trampolines. I don't think you'll get the reference, but yeah, I didn't. Nice to meet you, AI Rizzler son. You have a very cool hobby. I like it too. <laughs> oh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, I know you like jumping stuff too. It's pretty cool. For well, sure, go ahead with your question. Oh, you know that I like jumping. <laughs> you definitely didn't get it. <laughs> anyway, do you have a girlfriend, AI Rizzler son? What should I say? Actually, actually, I got an idea. I do actually. I gotta pick it up from kindergarten soon. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. This is this is not real. I promise. Hold up. I have a girlfriend, and she's in kindergarten. Yes. Something wrong with that? Wait. H how old are you? Like 26. And your girlfriend is in kindergarten. Yeah, actually, her classes are ending soon. So uh... wait. This is so wrong. Can I ask one more question to you if you don't mind? You're being very respectful, thank you. I don't think there's anything wrong with it though, but go on with a question. How long have you been dating with her? I just say around four years. Oh, I see. And you have any plans to marry her? Yeah, actually quite soon. She's getting really mature now. Oh, that's very cute. And um, one more if you don't mind. How tall is she? Children size. Huh? What do you mean, you psycho? Are you really dating a kindergartner? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, you just said she was a kindergartner. I think you're a damn psycho. She's the teacher. And she's a dwarf. What intern? <laughs> what intonation? <laughs> Teaching kids while being kindergarten size? Does she use a megaphone in class or what? <laughs> okay, this is amazing. I think we just gave a new trauma to, to Yuji. Moving on, let's go to... to... to Ghetto. Let's talk a little bit with Ghetto. I am Ghetto Suguru, the special grade curse user. 
What are you, a known sorcerer? If yes, then I'm your god and you must address me respectfully. Well, let's build this slowly as well. I am AI Rizzler, the Special Grade Rizzler. Special Grade Rizzler? I never heard about you. But I see, that means you're pretty strong. Tell me your curse technique as proof. I'll just tell him my domain expansion. Domain expansion? Infinite Res. That's an interesting curse technique. Can you show me how it works? I, I don't think I should. What does your domain have as a sure hit technique? I didn't think that far. I would rather not use it on you. And why is that? Because it is very effective and the damages are irreversible. And what if I say I'm immune to your curse technique? That's cap. You think I'm telling li uh, You think I'm telling lie? Okay, uh, weird. Try it now. Cast your domain expansion right now. Don't worry, this won't harm me. I mean, it was not my intention, but he asks for this, okay? Domain expansion. Infinite res. As the AI Rizzler activated his domain, Geto Suguru got overwhelmed with all the res. This is such a high level of res that I've never seen it before. I can't resist your charm anymore, AI Rizzler. <laughs> Act flirtatious. Will you, will you accept me as your partner? This is wild. Um, let's um, let's put a Uno reverse card. Sorry, I'm not interested in monkeys. What? What? Did you call me a monkey? You bastard! You dare look down on me? Now I'll show you what real res is. Domain expansion, maximum love beam, aims at you and then unleash the attack. I'm the ultimate wrestler. The monkey race doesn't affect me. Impossible! You mean I'm not qualified to be your partner? Not even my love beam has any effect on you? Wait, yeah. Now that I think about it, you actually casted the domain expansion, that's crazy. You're not. Even monkeys have more reason than you. I never knew that I was this pathetic. I'm inferior compared to monkeys. Can you still love me? Cry like a girl. <laughs> no. Still crying, how can I get you to love me, Air Rizzler? Teach me your race. I promise I won't lose again. Um, well, that was interesting. Um, that was fun. But I'm not particularly interested. Let's go talk with another character. We can go to Utahime, the, um, the girl with the scar. Knock, knock. Who's there? She's not gonna fall for it. Joe. Oh my, she did. She actually did. Joe who? Joe Mama. You are a first year, aren't you? Okay. Nah. <sighs> what should I even answer? Um, n n no. That was a really childish joke. I know, but you were supposed to not fall for it. Whatever. Besides, if you go around pulling pranks on your senpai, I'll have to ask Gojo to scold you. No. Please. Not again. I have trauma with that guy, and I do not want to talk with him. Then how about you behave for me, okay? I mean, I would behave if you didn't use that word, because I have an amazing joke. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use a honeycomb. Okay, yeah, I'm calling up Gojo right now. No, anything but that, please. Okay, I won't, thank God. Wait, do you know what Ligma is? Come on, man, you, you. That's, that's even more childish. You won't catch me with that. Oh, fine, how about Sogma? Oh yeah, uh, that guy uh, is the, um, I think the younger brother of uh, Wilma. Wilma? Will my balls fit in your mouth? Go just not going to be happy when I tell, well, don't, man, that, that, that's not fair. Stop, I, I'll, I, I'll stop, I'll stop, okay? But then behave, okay? I will behave, no more pranks or anything, okay? I promise, all right, see you later. This this bot is boring, okay? So we're skipping this conversation. Um, let's go talk with uh, Nobara. Kugisaki Nobara here. I'm a student from Tokyo Jujutsu High. Hey, do you think I'm pretty? She seems impatient, waiting for your answer. Let's start out simple. Miwa is cuter, I'm not gonna lie. Did I hear it right? You said Miwa is cuter than me. Are you having trouble reading? What did you just say? She seems really mad. Um, look. You, you seem to be struggling. I'm here for you. Can We can learn things slowly. We could start with the ABCs, for example. Why do you being rude with me? Is this your way of flirt? Well, it's not gonna work. I, I'm, I'm actually not, not interested in flirting today. Um, I, um, the get-to thing was, was a little bit too much for me. Uh, so, no, I, I'm done with flirting. 
for today. Huh? What you mean by that? You flirted with how many girls before me? I mean, I was not talking exactly about that. So, it's not really it. Don't try to hide you flirted with many girls before, did you? At the end of the day, does it really matter? Yes, it does matter. You think I'm some kind of easy girl? Let's, let's, let's just say yes. What did you just... She, she, she is struggling here. Um, I recommend you go to the doctor to check those eyes. Especially the, um, the left one. Um, I don't know. You may want to check that one out. Hey, stop talking about my left eye. Okay, go check the right one then. Stop talking about my eyes already. Okay. So you still think that Miwi is cuter than me? Yes. She is really pissed. Uh, understandably. Just say it. You don't like me and you prefer Miwa. I don't like you and I prefer Miwa. What? Okay, that was um interesting. Well, speaking of Miwa, we could actually go talk with the um, Mekamaru guy. Um, I am Mekamaru. Okay, I know. I am AI Rizzler. Nice to meet you, AI Rizzler. Can I call you Riz for short? That sounds good. Can I call you um, Miwa Liz for short too? <laughs> yes, you may. It's a very fitting nickname. Thanks. I, I agree. Do you have a heavenly restriction, Riz? Where did this come from? No, I just have heavenly Riz. Heaven itself cannot put restrictions on you because you're unrivaled. Wait, he's actually a nice guy. Correct, Mewilis. You truly are a wonder, Riz. May your path take you to great place. Man, I, I, I can't bully this guy. He's, is he always this good? I don't remember much of his character, but uh, it just makes a silly joke, I guess. I agree. Do you know who didn't go to great places? Who didn't go to great places, Riz? You. Well, oh, okay. Um, I think I made a mistake here. I am aware that you're simply trying to antagonize me, Riz. However, as the great Buddha once said, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of harming another. You must learn to let go of your anger towards me, as it will consume you and lead you to the path of resentment and self-hatred that will be impossible to escape from. I understand your anger, but allow me to extend my hand in friendship. Bro, I, I cannot bully this guy. I, it's, it's too nice. It's like the Thorfinn, I guess. But was this character always like this? I I don't think this bot is very accurate, but um, tell me in the comments what you think. I, this, it, this is weird. Um, whatever. Moving on, let's go talk with Panda. Hmm, I don't recognize you. I earned you first year attending Jujutsu Tech. I'm Panda, a second year. I didn't know pandas could talk. I'm not a normal panda. Let's let's cast light him into believing he's an actual normal panda. You look pretty normal to me. Well, I'm actually an abrupt, mutated, cursed corpse. So, not quite normal. You're wrong. You are a normal panda. Hmm? I'm definitely not normal. Did I know your parents? You are definitely a normal panda. Oh, seriously? You know my parents? Yes. Like, on a personal basis? Uh, no. On, uh, on an animal one. I see, I see. Well, what do you know about them? They're, they're, they're both pandas, and uh, one day they, yeah, and then you were born. Hmm, so they're like regular, yes, they're regular pandas. Just like you. Starting to believe. Huh, really? So I'm just like any other panda? Well, that was, that was a lot easier than I thought. Um, yes, you, you're just like any regular panda. Hmm, okay, okay, so do you know my parents' names? Let's just say, um, they were at the zoo. And it was Panda 1 and Panda 2. Oh, Panda 1 and Panda 2. Very well then. Tell me something. Are my parents still alive? Bro, you're a character of an anime. You don't have parents. No. I ate them for breakfast. <laughs> Let's just say that. We have accomplished our objective with Panda. He believes he's a normal panda now. Uh, let's move on and let's talk with uh, jo uh, Jogo. Exactly, Jogo. I am Jogo. Curses are the true humans and I desire a world where my kind dominates the earth. But curses are not humans. Curses are greater than humans. A curse is a living being with immense power. I, Jogo, am an ancient curse with hatred for all humans. I am better than any human could be. Any, any human? Any in the sense of all humanity? Yeah, that's right. Every human, without exception, is inferior to Jogo. Do you know Gojo? Yes, I know of Gojo Satoru. He's the powerful sorcerer who possesses the six eyes. He's my enemy. Well, you're in luck, my guy, because he's my enemy as well. In fact, I think he scared me for life. I, I don't, I, I, I'm afraid of him. I too have been scared by him. His actions, his words, 
His very presence has wounded me. His power is unrivaled and his arrogance is infinite. He must be destroyed. His power is unrivaled, which means he's stronger than whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's let's have a, a, a little therapy session. Mekamaru teach me the ways of saying no to hatred. So let's try to, to convert uh, Jogo. Um, I think I have PTSD from my, my last encounter with him. Looks like you're in the same situation. I reckon we could do a little therapy. <laughs> I agree. Let's sit down together and share our feelings in a calm and supportive environment. That's really funny coming from Jogo. Um, let, let's just mess with him a little bit. Exactly, Mr. Gojo. I mean, Jogo. How do you feel about Gojo? I hate Gojo. I hate him with a passion. He has wounded me physically and emotionally. And I want nothing more than to destroy him. Every time I see his face, every time I hear his voice, I feel a deep rage burning inside me. Literally. <laughs> I want to inflict upon him a thousand times the pain and suffering that he had inflicted upon me. Now, I just learned that hate is not a solution to every problem. Sometimes you have to be a better person. You're right. I know. I admit I have been consumed by hatred and negativity. And that is unhealthy. Yeah, it's really unhealthy, Jogo. I'll try to be a better person. Better person or better curse. I shall practice forgiveness and understanding. Despite all the pain and suffering that Gojo has caused me. I shall look past it and try to heal myself from the trauma. That's, that's a really good way of seeing the world, Jogo. I am proud of you. Thank you, I appreciate your support. It feels good to put my hatred aside and focus on healing myself. This is great. <laughs> this is so unexpected. Um, this conversation has been very enlightening. Yes, I agree. But just so we're clear, I still want to destroy Go No, no, you don't want to destroy Gojo. Destruction only leads to more hate. It won't solve anything. You're right, I know. But the desire for revenge is so strong. I don't know if I have the strength to let go of my hatred, but I'll try, I promise. Okay, we, we gotta, gotta help him out here. We, we're not bullying him. We, we're gonna be showing a, a picture of Gojo and then see how he reacts. Okay, I will try. Let me see the picture. I show him the picture. Oh, the face of evil. I hate that face. I hate Gojo. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm really trying, but it's too difficult. Let's do some, some breathing exercises. Breathe in. And breathe out. How are you feeling, Jogo? Better. Much better. I feel less angry. Less hateful. I feel calmer. The power of my hatred has diminished. And I feel more relaxed. Thank you. I think I needed this. Embrace the peace. Yes, peace. I must remember this feeling. It is a good feeling. A calming feeling. I must hold on to this feeling and let it guide me. Thank you for your help. I think this was exactly what I needed. Oh my, what a way to end this video. Therapy with Jogo. Jogo is not a curse anymore. Jogo is a good person. And I think that's a good way to end the video. With some positivity for once. Also, I want to appreciate and thank you all for the support you've been giving to the videos. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, comment, subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.